Hey, Heidi Fang for MMA Fight Corner with Raquel Pennington, women's semifinalist, and we find out in just a few hours what happened with your fight. Uh, you have a tough test with Jessica Rakowski. We know that you've already had that experience, but what can you tell us about the things leading up to that fight coming up tonight on tonight's show? Uh, you know, leading into the fight with Jessica, I mean, uh, I think a lot of people just... Um, I don't think they realize exactly what the fighters go through, you know? And, I mean, I had a 10-day period in between fights, and just to go through the injuries and stuff that I sustained with Jessman, it was really hard to sit there and figure out how to start to recover from that physically and then turn around and prepare emotionally and mentally again. Um, but, I mean, all in all, this is what we do. This is what I chose to do. And so, uh, you know, I don't think it's so much of a smart decision where I'm going to go into a fight against a pro boxer and just sit there and try to box. Uh, it's MMA, and so I choose to be more well-rounded. Um, I think with the fight with uh, Jessica, though, it's it'll be a good fight. With Jessamine, where she's concerned, you guys literally had a war on top. I mean, that was one of the best fights. What does it mean to you being in the first co-ed season and to put on such a show that way that the fans are able to see you in that light if, that you can put on wars and go to battle? Uh, it's been amazing with the season, having the men and women. It's given us women a great opportunity, and the fact that me and Jessamine, being compared to like the Forrest Griffin and Stefan Bonner fight, I mean, that just sets something for us women, you know. Uh, the fight with Jessman, it was uh, it was definitely a war. That's just the, the way to explain it. Um, I don't know. I think uh, I don't know. I think it was just a great opportunity overall, and to keep pushing. I understand. I was reading one of your blogs that you actually had decided to take out the stitches that you got in that fight with Jessamine before your fight with Jessica. Looking back, do you think that was a good or bad choice? Um, with the stitches, I think it was my first time ever having stitches, so I was a little nervous to begin with. And when they wanted me to keep the stitches in, I was just like, you know, I don't feel comfortable with that. I didn't feel comfortable knowing that maybe it can just get caught something and all of a sudden it just rips open, my eye starts bleeding. Uh, I would just rather, if it's going to bleed and open again, I'd rather take it for a punch or whatever. Um, so I wouldn't change it. I would stick with that choice. And also, they announced during the conference call that was uh, just this week that all of the women from the season, with the exception of Shayna and uh, Sarah, who are both injured, that all of the women will get a fight on the finale. How excited were you to hear that news? It's more than exciting. I think uh, there's been so many women for all these years putting in the work, and I think this is finally our chance to do deserve the spot the same thing that the men do um, so to have that opportunity to be able to fight on the finale I mean it's just it's gonna be great it's gonna be a great experience and I think the fans are gonna love it also you've had time with Invicta FC before you were into the ultimate fighter how did that experience maybe help prepare you for going into the octagon for the first time um, with Invicta it was a great opportunity for me to kind of go through and feel how the media thing would be how it would be um, fighting on a big promotion with a bigger crowd and everything um, as I said on one of my interviews or one of the episodes, I'm a little stage fright and stuff. So that was good preparing me for that, to what's to come with everything that we've been doing for the Ultimate Fighter and now with UFC. And where is it that you train? Will you have a, who will you have cornering you for the fight when you come to the finale on Saturday? I train out of Altitude MMA in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Um, my head coach is Mark Fiore, and then I will have my cousin Tommy Gonzalez who's like my comfort, been with me from the beginning of all this, and then uh, another coach, Gabe Vallejos. And do you feel like any nerves about octagon jitter, so to speak, or anything like that, or has it quite hit you yet? Um, it hasn't totally hit me. I think overall uh, I've had this opportunity to really prepare myself mentally and physically and emotionally, so I'm just overall excited. I feel really comfortable with everything and just excited, ready to rock and roll. Great. Well, we look forward to seeing you and your debut here this Saturday. Thank you, Raquel.